Hello and welcome to the Spear and Jackson Garden. This week I'm going to be showing you how to divide herbaceous perennials. We can take one plant and make up to four with each one, giving you lots more plants for free. But just before we do, I want to appreciate this little colchicum. They're called naked ladies because they flower before the leaves appear. They're actually just about going over. There's a couple of new buds coming through, but just look at those flowers. And at this time of year, something just to cheer you up. Herbaceous perennials such as these are still biz have been the real stars of the show in this garden this year and out of all the plants that came through the winter none of the herbaceous per perennials were affected by the cold and I think that's because they disappeared underground and then they came back up in the spring as if to say what's been going on what have I missed they've put on so much growth this year and this astilbe's got a really good root system but there's a bit of a gap at the back there so i just want to divide it up and fill in the holes the ease in which the perennials will divide depends on the variety Hostas, for example, are quite difficult to divide because they have a really congested crown of, of new shoots. These astilbes are quite easy, but again, have lots of different new shoots which are hiding under the surface of the soil. Now, I reckon I can get about three plants out of this one, and I'm going to try and divide it again. It's extremely dry and the stilbies really like to be quite moist. I think it's probably because it's been in a raised bed all summer. Now I only actually need two plants to put back into the bed. So I'm going to pop this one on and give it away to a friend. Make sure you press that soil quite firmly down especially around the sides to, uh, to make sure that the soil is in good contact with the roots. Give it a tap, water it well, and it'll store like that right throughout the winter. And if you don't give it away to a friend, you can find another spot in the garden to put it. These plants will develop a really good root system over the autumn while the soil's still warm and while it's still quite wet. But they were very dry, so I'm just going to water them in and they shouldn't even notice that they've been moved. And next year, this clump will be even bigger. And that's everything for this year. You just need to give it a feed of a balanced fertiliser in the spring and then maybe give it a mulch over the top as well just to lock in that moisture because like I said before they really do like a moist soil. That's it for this week. Join me next time when we'll be planting some autumn bulbs for spring flowering. But until then, have a great gardening week.